back in the early 80s, before Hollywood brought in uh, Hong Kong stunt coordinator, you can see those big action movies. They're very good at jets, you know, gun shooting, explosion. But for Hong Kong, you know, we don't have the access to all those, you know, hardware. So all the stunt coordinators picking their brains how to how to fight with two arms and two legs for an hour and to come up with new style and new way of fighting that people wouldn't get bored. I think a Hong Kong action movie is characterized by um, a lot more energy than you'll find in your kind of 80s standard Western action movie. Um, Schwarzenegger and Stallone in particular are very static. They just stand there blasting away. Uh, and Hong Kong films that just have much, much more motion, much more energy, and much faster paced. Hollywood first looked away from its car chases because of one man. I think the, the major characteristic of a Hong Kong action movie, at least that karate movie at that time, was the personality of the, of the actor. Uh, I, I don't think that anybody could get terribly excited about the directorial uh, expertise that was brought along, but the actors were, you know, were, were very amusing in different sorts of ways, and of course, uh, Bruce was the, was the most spectacular of all of them. He's the first one to became the true international action star in the world. And also, he have a, a own style, a Chinese style. It was the iconic Bruce Lee who first grabbed America's attention. But his premature death left a vacuum it seemed no one could fill, and Hollywood's attention soon wandered. It took 20 years for another Hong Kong action man to pick up Lee's baton and sweep the whole movie world. Former Peking opera child performer and daring young stuntman Jackie Chan emerged as a fully-fledged action star in the early 1990s and became the pioneer who almost single-handedly blazed the now well-traveled trail between Hong Kong and Hollywood. If you know, you know, Jackie Chan stuff, you know, which is basically, um, he is uh, partly Harold Lloyd and Buster Keaton, you know, of the Hong Kong uh, uh, film industry, you know. And that's really what he does. He does physical comedy. The thing I, I like about uh, Jackie Chan is uh, I, I, uh, he's, a, he's an extremely hard-working man, and, and, uh, and, he had a, and he was very good at Kung Fu uh, um, and... Um, uh, he, uh, he had a, a great sense of humor, and and uh, and, and he looked uh, pretty handsome, you know, at that time. I think Jackie's incredible. You know, it's some of his some of the stuff he does and the timing on it, and the risks he takes, is is just insane, <laughs> absolutely insane. He also doesn't mind falling down himself, whereas quite a lot of action stars look like they really resent those scenes. But actually, one of the things Jackie Chan does really well is lose on screen. He can be convincingly beaten up. It's much more credible in, in his movies. I was never convinced when Bruce Lee lost a fight. He always had that thing, you know, I could, I could take these guys if I really wanted to. When there was a time when everybody was importing the, as you characterize it, the Hong Kong action film, that there were so many of them that the, 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 the last, you know, 10 or 15 that were, that were distributed in the United States were all flops. And um, there hasn't been a guy like Jackie Chan around for a while. There was an instance where he's supposed to leap up, do a flip, hit two guys, do another couple flips. It's a very back-bending, very arduous thing to do. Not only did we go further than four, Jackie made us go to 37 takes. That's an instance where I can't stop the machine. I, I'm suggesting, let's stop, and he will not stop till it's perfect. So he will never slow down as far as I can see it. I mean, short of going to the hospital. In between visits to Casualty, Jackie Chan has made 108 feature films, including Next Year Alone, The Tuxedo, a sequel to Shanghai Noon, Shanghai Nights, and the supernatural thriller High Binders, co-starring Lee Evans.
It seems that Jackie Chan now challenges James Brown for the title of the hardest working man in show business. Enjoy the show. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Your book fell down by himself. You killed James Brown. 